In this video, I am going to show you the setup for streaming or recording purposes using the Meano Caster Lite connected to a phone, wherein the background music is coming from a laptop or a computer or an iPad or another device, maybe another phone. For testing, I will be using this condenser microphone. Without further ado, let's get started. And now let me show you the cords and cables I will be using in this setup. So first of all, if you want to charge the mo this uh, sound card while using, you can do that. So feel free to use this one. Uh, so it's a USB uh, type A to type C. So just uh, plug this one uh, to here. So the one that says USB-C and then the other one could be plugged to this laptop or if you want, you can plug that on like something like that, a block or you can also uh, connect this one to a, a portable uh, charger so something like that just plug it in like that and then you can charge it while you're using it and uh, because we will only be using the background music from this laptop we actually don't need this one and that's because this is uh, fully charged anyway so we will not be needing this one now as i mentioned we will do a recording sample so let's do that one first uh, we will use these two cords here. So these are the TRS, the one that has three lines on both the ends. This normally comes when you buy the Monocaster light. Okay, so let's connect. Let's do first, uh, do a sample recording using uh, this uh, laptop as our source for the background music or instrument. So what we do is we connect one from here. So the one that says, uh, so we will connect the one that says music input and then the other end we will connect to the headphone port or headphone jack or port of this laptop which is uh, on this side over here okay there it is okay just make sure they're properly plugged in because it might uh, won't work if it's not Okay, and I will be using a headset so I can monitor the audio. Okay, so of course I will be connecting this one to the one that says headset right there. So you can also connect uh, an earphone without a built-in microphone if you want, so you can connect them from here. Okay, let's connect this one here on the headset. And because this phone here does not have an audio jack over there, I will be using a lightning uh, audio adapter so, but if you're using an Android phone that has an audio jack over there you don't need uh, an adapter okay so we will use this other cord so we'll connect one end here and of course this other end here and then the other end we will connect to the monocaster light you just have to you just have to uh, select which port you want to use so just select uh, could be a uh, output one two or three so let's just connect to the one it says the uh, pod one okay this let's just move it to the back okay and this is our headset and of course let's not forget we will be connecting uh, this uh, condenser microphone and the cord for this one uh, it normally comes together so condenser microphone plus this one so XLR to uh, TRS so we will connect one end, of course, to this monocaster light. And same thing, there are two ports for microphone here, mic one and two, you just select whichever. Let's connect it to the number one. Okay, and now we're all set. Okay, and now let's do a sample recording first. So as I showed you earlier, uh, the first is we are going to uh, be using the background music from this uh, laptop. Okay, so from this phone, I will be using the built-in camera only from this one. So I'm going to open the camera right now. And there it is. So it's uh, ready. Okay, so uh, so from here, I will be uh, I will start recording now. So I can share to you also the audio I'm hearing from this uh, headset. Okay, so as you notice, this monocaster is already turned on. Just hold two to three seconds and it should be turned on. 
Okay, so as to my settings here, it's up to you whatever is your preferred settings. So the echo, I set it at uh, five, number five there at the middle and the monitor. And the microphone is up to here at three o'clock. So it's up to you if you want to hear it louder from the head headset, then you can turn this up the monitor. But again, it's, it's all up to you. And the low, mid and high, the low is more of the bass. So if you want more bass, turn it to the right. And more treble is more of the high over here. So the mid, I would just normally put it in the middle. Um, so it's up to you, whatever is your preferred settings. Okay, and the record volume knob here, make sure it's always on high because we are recording or even for live streaming purposes, make sure that this is uh, on high all the time. So I always put it on high. Okay, and for the music, the instrument right here, the the volume from here you can control from here or from this laptop itself. So let's uh, let's try to play this one so we can check how loud is uh, is the background music. Okay, let's try to play this one. Okay, so we could hardly hear it. That is because uh, the volume here is at zero or at low. Okay, so let's uh, play this one. Let's maybe put it up there at uh, maybe two o'clock. That's very loud. Okay, so you can control it uh, from here. So something like that. Okay, and uh, now if you want, okay, let's uh, pause this one for a bit. And now if you want uh, some more echo, so it's up to you, feel free to move this up. So the maximum echo should sound like that. Let's again move it back to number six. Okay, there it is. And now let's um, do a little uh, sample of recording. Okay. Okay, sound check, testing one, two. Okay. Okay, let's pause it from there. Okay, so that is now our recorded audio, the one that you just heard. Okay, so now uh, let's try the background music this time is coming from an iPad or maybe another device. So it's pretty simple. So what you do, so I have here the same song. So I'm just going to, what I will do is I'm just going to remove the, this uh, cord on here. As you recall earlier, that is connected to the music input of this mono sound card. So from there, the one that says music input and that is connected to, to here. So what we will do, we just simply remove this one here and transfer it to this one here. And uh, so if you are, if you're using, if you're using an iPad or, or another device, so what you do is just locate the, uh, the headphone jack or port of that device. So in this uh, case, this iPad, the, the headphone jack is just over here. So just connect it like that. Let's try playing this one this time so we can see, we can check how loud is the instrument. Okay, so it sounds like it's uh, slow, so let's turn this up from here. And if it's still loud, and let's say if it's loud already like that, and uh, you want it more louder, maybe because uh, the volume from here, you can still uh, turn it up or, or turn the volume up from this. Let's, uh, let's check. Okay, so, so as you can see, it's only up to there. So if you want to make it louder, just turn it up, uh, to turn the volume up from here, and also you can control it from here. So maybe uh, somewhere there. Okay, let's give also a little sample. Okay, so let's pause it right there. And now, if you want to connect the background music, let's say, for example, from this iPad to connect to this Monocaster Lite wirelessly or without this cord using this uh, Bluetooth function, you can use that for sure. So let's remove this one here and let's remove the other end right here. Go to the settings. Okay, from the settings, go to Bluetooth 
And as you notice here, it's blinking, so it's looking for another device to pair it with. So monocursor is right there, so let's tap it to pair Bluetooth them. Connected. Okay, there it is. So it, they're now uh, connected. So let's get out from here and let's go back to the YouTube song. Okay, there it is. Okay, so uh, so same thing this time. Uh, this is now connected to this uh, sound card wirelessly, so without the cable. Let's try playing from here. Okay, so same thing, the, the volume is low, so what you will do is let's turn the volume up from here. Okay, there it is. Okay, and now you can control the volume from here. So if you want it louder, then go like that. So I think that should be good enough. Okay, so let's turn the echo up. Maybe some more, maybe at seven, number seven. Okay, there it is. Okay, let's try to play this one and let's do a little uh, sample recording again. Okay, so there it is. So that's what it should sound like. Okay, and now uh, let's do a sample live streaming on Facebook. So uh, same uh, setup as earlier. Let me show you again over here. So of course, the uh, this is the, uh, the the condenser microphone right here connected to mic one and the headset. This is the one uh, I'm using right now. And then uh, the pad one. So this cord is connected to this uh, phone here. And I'm just gonna put this back into the one that says music input. And uh, the other end, I will connect to the uh, headphone port of this uh, laptop and it's just over here okay so now you have to open your facebook account and click live from there and now i'm ready to go live i'm gonna start the live video now and by the way i just set this one as uh, only me as a viewer okay so there it is. I am now on live. And so while you're on live, it is recording also. Okay, so there is no effects yet because as you notice, the echo is down. So if you want effects, so just turn it up like that. And of course, uh, you can use this, uh, this uh, sound effects on here. Let's say you want to use laughter. So your viewers should be able to hear that as well. And then the boing and then the laughter and the other ones. And if you want to change your voice, it's like different options for your vocal. So it's just over here. So, so MC original. original Pro. Okay, so uh, something like that. It's up to you if you want that or it's, it's up to you also if you want to use the pitch bend here or the pitch or to change your voice. So it's, up to, it's something like that. Okay, so anyway, go back to our normal voice and uh, for the denoise it's up to you if you want to use this or no uh, feel free to uh, give it a try to use that and uh, if you are on live streaming make sure the record volume knob is on high and now let's try to sing while you are doing your live streaming let's check first how loud is our background uh, instrument or background music here okay I'm gonna lower it over there because I could hardly hear my voice okay so maybe something like that and now let's do a sample you're singing while you're doing a live stream let's put some echo on it okay let's stop it from there this is pretty much the setup if you want to sing while you're doing your live streaming and now the use of the side chain if you want to use this one while you're doing a live streaming so th this is when you when you're playing a background music and as you talk your your instrument or background music will go down and as you stop talking your background music should go up so let's just move it over there and let's uh, play this instrument Okay, so something like that, and and now if I'm going to turn this on, the side chain. Okay, and I'm going to talk, so as you notice, I'm talking right now, the background music uh, volume is low, and if I'm going to stop talking. Okay, there you go, so that's the use of this uh, side chain. So the use of the loopback, if you are using this laptop, 
in doing your live streaming, then you can use the loop back. So even if we try it right now, so let's say for example, okay, so it's playing right now, and if I'm going to turn this uh, turn this on, your uh, listeners or your viewers supposed to hear this instrument, and uh, and if I'm going to turn it off. So supposed to be, because it's turned off, supposed to be your viewers is not uh, hearing the sound. But again, since uh, we're not doing the live streaming from this uh, laptop, so it doesn't matter even if it's on or off, your viewers or listeners should be able to hear the instrument you are uh, playing or the background music you are playing. Okay, let's try right now connecting the background music from this iPad. So again, as I mentioned, it could be, it could be an iPad, it could be another tablet or another device so what you should do if you want to use this cord here the one that is connected to this laptop so let's remove this one now because we will not be using this and if you want to use this uh, cord or this cable simply connect this one same as we did earlier connect the headphone port of this iPad or tablet or another phone but if you want to connect them uh, using Bluetooth then for sure you can do that as you notice, it's not blinking anymore because they are already connected as we did that already earlier. Okay, so let's play this one again to, to check how loud is our background music. Okay, so it sounds like it's not that loud yet, so let's turn this up over here. Okay, so let's do a little uh, sample again. Okay, so of course, let's uh, use uh, some, let's put some echo on it. Okay, something like that. Okay, let's play it. Okay, let's stop it from there. That's pretty much how you connect to them all. It's as you can see, it's pretty simple. Okay, so let's now finish our uh, live streaming from here. And that's all I can share for today. Thanks again, guys, for watching. If you like this type of video, please give it a like. And if you want more of this video, please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you are always updated for all the upcoming videos I will be posting. Keep safe and until next time.